Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Prisco, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, yes sir, this is Saturday, March 13th, 2017, B blog number 2084. Got a happy birthday shout out going out to Shenandoah Snyder. So, hey, yeah, I heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I'ma say. Uh, Shenandoah, there's a one more year gone away. So, happy birthday to you today. And many more. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Got that shout out going on. You know, I short shortchanged you. I usually do another verse. Say, you heard it's your birthday today. So, happy birthday, I'ma say. There's one more you're going away. So, happy birthday to you today. And many more. Cha-cha-cha. There we go. Hey, yeah, got it now. Got that extra verse for you. Bah, 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 bah. Didn't want to leave you off. Everybody else gets two verses. You may as well get two, too. Right, Shenandoah? Hey, we Shenandoahs got to stick together, don't we? Yes, sir, we do. I'm telling you. All righty then. Bah, bah, bah. Well, I talked to my uh, caregiver today. Her name's Jasmine. And I said, hey, Jasmine, you mind if I use your name in the um, in my blog? And she says, she says, no, I don't mind. And she says, didn't you already use it? And I said, no. I said, I don't think so. But I think I might have. But anyway, she says, and what if I would have said no? And then I would have said, well, okay, then I would have said, well, forgive me, ladies and gentlemen, for using the name Jasmine in my blog at one point in time before because I, sh I asked her about it and she said I should not use the name Jasmine so I'm not going to use the name Jasmine so further out throughout any of the rest of my blogs if you hear the name Jasmine pay no attention to the name Jasmine because I'm not using the name Jasmine in my blogs because my caregiver denied for me to use the access of the word of her name so Jasmine will not be announced anymore but she gave me permission to use it, so I can use it. So therefore, <laughs> therefore I am going to use it. Not that many times a day, but, you know. She's getting there. She's getting the hang of it. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to have it all tied up and run, all down. No time at all. All righty, all righty, all righty. Hey, you know, it's a hot one out there today. Sun's shining down. Blah, blah, blah. I was sitting out front there a second ago watching my uh, neighbor uh, move his truck, move his boat. And he slipped that boat right into the, uh, he had to move it off from the side of the garage in front of the garage. Now, granted, his uh, girlfriend's uh, Cadillac is sitting right there next to the, on the second side of the garage. And he slipped that thing in there so close to that Cadillac that you probably can't even slip a piece of paper in there. But he didn't scrape it. And I was like, yo, Danny, way to go. Now, that there's some backing power there. You done an excellent job backing that thing up. And he says, yep. That's about all he gave me was a yelp. Like he knew what he was doing. I know when I was driving trucks, it wasn't that easy. Now, after I got done driving trucks, after I came off the road, um, started working with uh, um, lawn mowing equipment, I was back in a pickup truck and a, and a uh, lawn trailer with my mowers on it, uh, dually trailer, and it was about, what, 18 feet long? And so I was backing that one up, and I had no problems backing that up, but then Semi truck and trailers, those gave me a massive hassle backing them up. Anyway, uh, you know what's going on. You know, I didn't find anything. Go to sleep. I didn't find anything going on for this weekend, but I tell you what, next Wednesday there is something going on, and I suggest you come on down to Main Street on the. Uh, between the 100 and 200 block of Main Street in St. Charles and catch free concert. Uh, it's a uh, um, Beatles cover uh, cover band, so they'll be doing a lot of Beatles rock and roll music. Uh, Blackbird and uh, all kinds of Beatles stuff. 
that's what they do so come on down to Main Street uh, Friday the 17th between uh, 6 and I'm going to put this up here so I don't keep wobbling all over the place between 6 and uh, um, 7.30 I believe free concert can't beat it they're you, they're always good. Um, you know, they're going to have a um, beer right there, and all the restaurants got uh, alcohol and beer and food, and you can't miss it on Main Street. We got it all. It's old time Main Street. This is the newer section of Main Street where the uh, fun part of the Main Street is, if you know what I mean. Spiritual. Very, very spirited. It's got all the spirit waters down there. Uh, anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, it's and it's going to concur on every uh, third Thursday. I mean, third Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. What is the 17th? I'll tell you what. I'll look just like this. The Oh, psh, that's not what I wanted to look at. There. Thursday is, or this... 17th is Wednesday. So, yeah, Wednesday. Pretty sure it's Wednesday. I don't know. Let me check. Let me make sure. Yeah, 17th, Wednesday. 17th. And the uh, group that's going to be down there uh, this weekend is... uh. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, psh, he ain't going to tell me. Of course they'll tell me. i just got to go to another page to get that information. Uh, Abbey Road. Ab the Abbey Road Warriors. So, of course, you know they're going to be dis singing Abbey Road, too. Anyway, uh, that's where the Beatles originated, was Abbey Road. Anyway, go to sleep. That microphone over there keeps kicking on my dragon, my uh, um, control mic for the uh, computer. And every time it does, it has a tendency to scroll my page down, so it throws me off. Anyway, 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in 100 block of North Main Street, St. Charles, Missouri. Join us, uh, join us on the third Wednesday of the month, May through September from 5 to 7.30 p.m. in the 100 to 200 block of North Main Street. Bring your lawn chairs on the... Bring your lawn chairs to this free outdoor concert. Free... I mean, not free. I was going to say free. Food and drink available to purchase. Music um, this month is going to be Abbey Road. Now, I could probably find out uh, more... Um, about who's going to be in the following um, in the following months who the uh, uh, groups are going to be for you um, but I think I'll just microphone off there now we won't have to worry about it kicking on every time scrolled up on me again Anyway, then the next thing that uh, I wanted to talk about is the uh, um, Irish Fest, Missouri's Irish Fest, uh, Missouri River Irish Fest on May 26th. Um, that'll be reoccurring daily from the 26th through the 28th. And, psh, done it again. And that'll be uh, following weekend. Um, because, you know, this weekend's Mother's Day, so tomorrow I'll be giving a shout-out to all them mothers out there for their happy Mother's Day because, well, you know our mothers are worth it. We, uh, you know, I've got a real special one. I've got a real special mother. My mother, i tell you what, she's been so great for the past 52 years of my life. Well, okay, not 52 years, 51 years, because this is 17. I'll be turning 52. 
in October. So, but she's been so great ever ever since the beginning of my time. She ra raised me up to be frugal. She raised me a. Uh, uh, she taught me all kinds of things, and then I turned around and taught her all kinds more. Um, that'd be small engine repair, because well, I went to my brother went to um, trade school for small engine repair. I kind of took some in uh, in high school. We had a small engine repair cl class in high school, and uh, anyway. When I took that, I I just done the basic stuff. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dig into a motor like, uh, doing, um, valves and rings and all that stuff. I never found it, uh, um, feasible, you know, because you could buy a brand new motor. By the time you changed out the rings and pulled the head off and all that junk. Now what I did do a lot of times was change a timing pin. Because if you got like a Toro mo more the yeah, not a Toro motor but a um, side draft motor, um, usually a Tecumseh motor or something of that nature, they uh, um, the carburetor with a side draft carburetor, the pin in those are so weak and flimsy that all you have to do is hit anything, uh, and it shears that timing pin so I did learn how to do that by pulling off the flywheel and replacing the timing pin uh, you have to remember to line up your spark your uh, um, you have to remember to line up your uh, uh, piston the right direction though because if and you don't and if it ain't on uh, because there's fro it's a four stroke motor so you have to know whether you're getting your compression or not but you got to remember to line that up right otherwise your timing pin won't be right and uh you'll be backwards your timing will be reversed and it'll shear your pin right off again but that being said no actually i guess it lines up it only lines up one way that's right Anyway, also uh, on the 29th, they're going to have the Cobblestone National Car Show, which will be at Fast Lane Classic Cars um, over on uh, 427 Little Hills Boulevard here in St. Charles. And that's where they dig out all the classic cars and they line them up in the showroom and out on the, uh, out on the parking lot. It's a pretty good show. Uh, I remember... Uh, Last time I went over there, the 29th annual Cobblestone Nationals will take place on Memorial Day. So that is this. Uh, oh no, that's Memorial Day. That's next weekend. Uh, on Memorial Day, May 29th, 2017, located at Fast Lane Classic Cars, the show will run from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Spectators are encouraged to stop by for fun, food, and entertainment. Our shows are always fun for the entire family. But yeah, they've got all kinds of classic cars over there, Paul. I'm telling you what. From 1965 uh, Mustangs, uh, they've got older cars too, like Model T's and Model A's and Model. I mean, they've got some old van, uh, Ford products over there. The time before the assembly line, they've got one or two of them, plus any. Plus some assembly line products. Anyway, that being said, looks like I better jump over to uh, another portion of the program. Um, the uh, 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 religious portion of the program. About the time to jump into that. So, uh, first off, I encourage you to follow along with me. And we'll do a, a forgiveness prayer. And uh, so, here we go. Uh, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Please cleanse my soul and relieve me of the guilt and the penalties. I will stop doing evil and I will start doing good. I believe in my heart that uh, God has raised Jesus from the dead and that he has uh, 
that he now sits next to God on the right hand side in heaven up above now I uh, accept Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior so therefore I am saved in Jesus mighty name amen now when you stop doing evil and you start doing good what you're doing good thing is morals and morally correct and the way you find out your morals and your morally correct things is you look at the Ten Commandments because the Ten Commandments are morally correct one is uh, you should shouldn't have any other gods other than our God in heaven our Father God who is the Father of Jesus Christ now you should make no graven idols which means you shouldn't idolize anything but God in heaven he will provide you with anything else that you need now uh, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain speaking of that GD is the one that we're talking about uh, and uh, people hitting their thumb or something and saying J JC out loud or Jesus Christ in uh, in a uh, um, condemning way uh, now you can you can on the other hand uh, condemn things uh, in the name of Jesus and or uh, like rid your house of pestilence you can just say uh, um, Father God I ask that you rid the pestilence of my house in Jesus mighty name amen and psh, you will your mosquitoes will just drop off dead you won't have to worry about them if you trust in the Lord you know you gotta have full and complete trust alright uh, and then on the fourth one is keep the uh, Sabbath day holy that's Sunday in my case um, just make sure you don't do um, any extenuous work and stuff like that on Sundays because well that's the day of the Lord and that's where you're supposed to give it to him and and it's his day so don't do any hard labor just kind of work uh, relax and pray and meditate and go to church uh, and then these are your morally correct ones uh, these are where you pick up your morals uh, fifth commandment is honor your father and mother that's right don't don't be yelling and screaming and hollering at your father and mother they deserve better than that so honor your father and mother Two, thou shalt not kill um, yeah um, that one's an easy one if you killed somebody then uh, you could be gonna be killed yourself and then uh, thou shalt not commit adultery that will adultery is the word meaning sex and that means uh, sex out of wedlock so you know if you're gonna f have sex out of wedlock you know you're gonna pay the penalty you're gonna end up having a baby that you don't know what to do with and so therefore uh, now if you do and you already have and you already did you know you can be forgiven for that but chances are you're going to want to try to get married or if the situation is bad which is an abusive situation or something of that nature then you want to get out of that situation and keep your babies with you and just go and there are ways about going about doing that all right and then the other one is uh you shall not steal well would you want somebody to steal stuff from you uh, of course not so you shouldn't steal anything either and see these things are just right and wrong common sense things that you ought to know and these are morals these are morally correct things that you should do and you should not uh, bear false witness which means you don't lie to other people you don't uh, um, you don't lie on other people as far as uh, saying something that you don't know is fully true and even if it is true if it's gonna hurt somebody why put it out there you know I mean that's just that's just wrong you know if you have an issue with somebody confront that person and let them know that you know 
something that that's not right and you know if if nothing else pray with them and and uh ask ask forgiveness for it and let it go so that it's gone in Jesus mighty name you know um let's see and you shall not cover coven which is yearn for or want meaning you should not uh put all your time daydreaming about something you don't have you should uh um work towards getting what it is that you want because like i'm saying the grass is not greener on the other side of the fence oh my neighbor joe he's got him a brand new garage and my uh cousin bill he's got all kinds of money i don't know why he ain't giving me some it's not your place for him it's not his place to give you money um you know it's it's your place to earn money so Anyway, that's the, your Ten Commandments, and that's where you find your morals from uh, the Fifth Commandment to the Tenth Commandment. All right, now let's see. We need to do um, the daily bread. So here we go without further ado. Uh, we're going to do the daily bread. And if we just go to odb.org, and uh, the thing is uh, camping song camping psalms okay that would be like a song when you're camping and the uh, verse that I'm going to be reading today is Psalm 8 1 through 9 and if you're keeping up with your Bible for the year then you're going to be doing uh, uh, 2 Kings 7 through 18 in the first testament and second testament is going to be John three nine through nineteen through thirty six okay camping psalms here's one for you i take it oh lord our lord how excellent is your name in all the earth who have set your glory above the heavens out of the mouth of babes the and nursing infants you have ordained strength because of your enemies that you may silence the enemy and the avenger when I consider your heavens like the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have ordained I'm not singing this what is man that you are mindful of him and the son of man that you visit him for you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, the past Oh, that pass through the paths of the sea. Okay, the and the fish of the sea that pass through the paths of the sea. Oh, Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all of the earth. And so there you have it, Psalms 8, 1 through 9. Okie dokie, so our next thing is one more song or one song i didn't even sing any others so today we'll just do one song and that would be well goodbye my friends it's time to go i say goodbye my friends it's time to go i hate to leave you but i really must go goodbye my friends goodbye this has been shenandoah briscoe saying hello and how are you and thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And as always, you know God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name. And come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope you are too.